This is your KCTV 5 News Update. The holiday season is in full swing in the metro, and for a Kansas City man, it is the beginning of a new season of life. Last night, Kevin Strickland flipped the switch on the mayor's Christmas tree. He watched fireworks burst above him as a free man, the first time he could in over four decades. This week, a judge ruled Strickland was wrongfully convicted of three murders in 1979. This is an experience I've never experienced before in my life. It was wonderful what it was like last year. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you couldn't, I, there's no words for that. I, that's a memory that I'm trying to shove out the back door. Strickland has already taken the holiday season in stride. He spent Thanksgiving with his family. A GoFundMe set up by the Midwest Innocence Project to help Strickland financially has raised over $1.3 million. Strickland did not receive any money from the state of Missouri, and that's because there is no state law to compensate those who are wrongfully convicted unless they are exonerated through a specific process with DNA. New this morning, we are learning more about a deadly crash in Jackson County. Police now say Dolores and Jerry Cantrell both died in the collision. The driver of the other car, Corey Stamper, is seriously hurt. This happened yesterday in Sugar Creek on Highway 291. Police say Jerry crossed over 291 and into the path of Stamper. Jerry and Dolores were pronounced dead at the scene. Kansas City police officers are investigating the city's 137th homicide this year. A man was shot and killed around 7.30 last night near Cleveland and 43rd Street. Officers found him in a parking lot and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Police have not arrested any suspects in this case. Hello, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Saturday morning weather update. Now, a little bit chilly here during the morning hours, 30s and 40s. But we're going to warm up nicely as we get through the afternoon hours. Plenty of sunshine, temperatures approaching 61, 62 degrees here by 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. We'll only cool off back into the 30s here overnight. Now, cooler air in place for tomorrow. 50s is where we're heading for your Sunday, but above average temperatures, dry conditions, then highlight the work week ahead with some days seeing temperatures in the mid 60s. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.